Tonight, amid what many are calling a nationwide teacher shortage, one daunting question looms. Who's going to teach America's children when people don't want to teach anymore? Mm. Research shows teachers impact student achievement more than any other aspect of schooling. But as our verified team reports, many in the profession are now burned out after decades of insufficient pay and increased workloads. Teachers say they've had enough. I don't know if I can do this. Like, I don't know how much longer I have in me. Am I burned out? Yes, I've been burned out for quite some time. That stress is compounding. I need a pep talk right now because I'm not sure if I can come back Monday at this point. Violetta Duran is a high school English teacher with nearly 20 years of experience. She's burned out and she's not alone. According to a 2022 Gallup survey of more than 12,000 workers across 14 industries, including other high stress careers like healthcare and law, teachers in K through 12 education are the most burned out. The National Center for Education Statistics says nearly half of all public schools reported full or part time teaching vacancies that they were unable to fill in 2022. The result, larger class sizes and less support for the teachers who remain. The impact is massive. Every student you add on top of that exponentially increases the difficulty in being able to aid every student. Aid that research shows students sorely need following years of disrupted learning caused by the pandemic. And teachers say they don't have the bandwidth to give. But class size is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what students and teachers are struggling with right now. Teachers say when they return to the classroom full time, students were less engaged and more prone to behavioral issues. Verify spoke to several current and former teachers who say they're burning out for two main reasons, being overworked and underpaid. Teachers say those factors aren't new, but they've reached a breaking point, a breaking point that might cause your child's teacher to leave the classroom for good. My pay since I started has not quite doubled, but my rent has tripled. Throughout her career, Duran's salary hasn't kept up with the cost of living. The average teacher salary in the U.S. during the 2021 to 2022 school year was $66,432. Adjust that for inflation, and it's less than teachers made 10 years ago, according to the National Education Association. And teachers' salaries are not increasing at the same rate as their workload. According to survey data from research organization RAND, nearly 60% of teachers reported working more than they did before the pandemic, with teachers working six more hours per week on average. The main reason? Teachers had to dedicate more time to creating lesson plans to keep students engaged. They kind of unlearned how to be students. Data from McKinsey and Company, a research and consulting group, found that on average, K through 12 students fell behind by five months in mathematics and four months in reading than they were expected to be at the end of the 2021 to 2022 school year. Teachers now have to spend more time to help their students catch up. I really became very poor at managing my personal time. Middle school band teacher Sarah Coys quit in 2021. My mental health has improved leaps and bounds. I started doing things I enjoy just and, and it was actually some of it was music. I realized how much I had stepped away from the thing I loved that got me into teaching in the first place. Both pay and workload issues are even worse for teachers of color. A recent Center for American Progress study found that black teachers earn on average $2,700 less per year than white teachers. Black teachers disproportionately teach in high poverty schools where teachers earn even less. And to make matters worse. Oftentimes educators of color are returning to the scene of the crime, so to speak. Um, they were students in our school system or students in school systems that, you know, where they felt oftentimes very under supported. Teachers of color told Verify they often have to take on extra responsibilities compared to their white peers. Evan Shin was one of those teachers. Now he's an instructional coach providing mentorship and guidance to teachers in the classroom. He says white teachers often tasked him with disciplining students of color in their classrooms just because he's black. It wears on you. It becomes a brown and black tax. Puedes cambiar de opinión? Sí. A 2018 study of Latino teachers found a similar pattern. Many bilingual educators reported that they often took on extra responsibilities, like translating and weren't compensated. Regardless of race, teachers burning out and leaving the profession is nothing new. Richard Ingersoll, a professor at the University of Pennsylvania who studies trends in the teaching workforce, found that for the last two decades. Between 40 and 50 percent of those who go into teaching are gone within the five, first five years. A statistic he says his research still supports today. So what's different now? America's teaching pipeline is drying up.
We're losing teachers faster than we can get new ones in. A report from the National Education Association, the nation's largest teachers union, revealed that more than half of their teachers in 2021 said they were more likely to quit or retire early because of ongoing job stress. On top of that, less people are studying to become teachers. Most states require teachers to at least have a bachelor's degree to teach at any grade level. The majority of teachers have a degree in education. But according to data from the National Center for Education Statistics, the percent of college grads earning a bachelor's degree in education is roughly half of what it was in 1970, dropping from more than 170,000 to less than 90,000 in 2019. I feel like teachers have been screaming, there's a crisis, there's a crisis, there's a crisis, and nobody's listening. So who's going to teach America's children when that pipeline dries up? It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Tomorrow, the Verify team shows us what's being done to get more people into teaching. We'll take a look at action from federal and state governments. We're also going to show you how one major university is giving students a full-ride scholarship if they commit to becoming a teacher in their state.